Hello guys. I hope you all are well. Today we are going to discuss one of the most controversial topics of our times. Does Hinduism allow marriage with minors? Does Hinduism allow marriage with prepubescent girls? There are many Hindu hating figures and anti-Hindu powers in the world that along with Christian missionaries and Islamist jihadis make such claims to discredit Hinduism. To verify their claims, we will have to look into our scriptures. Let's start. In Padma Purin it is mentioned, a man should marry his daughter as long as she has not attained puberty, wise men recommend a girl's marriage when she is eight years old. Wise men get married their unmarried daughters, as long as she does not menstruate, i.e. does not attain puberty. The father should keep his daughter in his house till she becomes eight years old, he should not keep a strong, i.e. grown up, one, both the parents get the, fruit of the, sin which a daughter, living in her father's house, commits. Not only this, scriptures even talk of marrying the girl child when she is infant and roams around naked. Yes! You heard it right, for example, it's mentioned in Bordhyana Dharmashastra, let him give his daughter, while she still goes naked, to a man who has not broken the vow of chastity and who possesses good qualities, or even to one destitute of good qualities, let him not keep, the maiden, in, his house, after she has reached the age of puberty. It is further mentioned regarding this in Vasistha Dharmashastra. Out of fear of the appearance of the menses let the father marry his daughter while she still runs about naked. For if she stays, in the house, after the age of puberty, sin falls on the father. It is also stated in Gautama Dharmashastra, a girl should be given in marriage before, she attains the age of, puberty. Vishnu Smuti makes it quite clear, a damsel whose menses begin to appear, while she is living, at her father's house, before she has been betrothed to a man, has to be considered as a degraded woman, by taking her, without the consent of her kinsman, a man commits no wrong. Parasaya Smuti even mentions of the consequences if the daughter is not married before her twelfth year, when the twelfth year is reached by the female child, if the guardian does not give her away in marriage, her forefathers drink, without interruption, during each succeeding month, whatever blood is passed in her courses. The mother, and the father, and likewise the eldest brother, all these three relatives will go to hell, if before menstruation they neglect to marry the girl. Brahma Vivata Purana mentions that marrying a child girl leads to blessings of goddess to go, whoever having decorated his virgin daughter aged eight years with apparel reverentially makes a gift of her to a good Brahmin, reaps the benefits of the gift of to go. The great Hindu epic named Mahabharata also mentions as follows, a person of 30 years of age should wed a girl of 10 years of age called Anagnika. Or, a person of 1 and 20 years of age should wed a girl of 7 years of age. Manusmriti the most infamous scripture also mentions this, a man, aged 30 years, shall marry a maiden of 12 who pleases him, or a man of 24 a girl 8 years of age, if, the performance of, his duties would, otherwise, be impeded. He must marry, sooner. There are even examples of girls getting married at such very young age in Dharnic scriptures, for example, a verse in Devi Bhagavatam reads. My daughter has come to a marriageable age, I have no money. Her age has exceeded 10 years, the marriageable age limit has been exceeded. Alas! What am I to do? Now as we have seen verses and passages of various Hindu scriptures, it is very clear that no jihadist of Christian missionary or even global power is conspiring against Hinduism. It is also clear that Mughals and Britishers too didn't conspire against Hinduism and changed it, rather infant marriage is an inseparable part of Hinduism. The sources of all these translations are mentioned in descriptions which you can read yourself, all translations used here are Hindu, so please do not cry of Western conspiracy. So. This was all for today, like and share my video, subscribe my channel and turn on notifications by pressing bell button and yeah. Do not dare to leave from this video without commenting. Have a good day.